Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Butterman, and this is part one of a three-part video series on the Azento workflow. In this video, I'll demonstrate the steps necessary to collect all of the data in order to submit a case to Azento. Azento is the newest part of the digital implant solutions platform from Dense Ply Cerrone Implants. It's a complete workflow, and it takes you from the planning of the implant position all the way through to guided surgery with custom healing components prefabricated and finally through to the final restoration. The premise behind Azento is that you'll place your implant with total control of the vertical position and the rotational timing of the implant so that you can have prefabricated abutments and healing abutments made for you before surgery. So at the time of surgery, I can place a custom healing abutment on with a predefined shape and allow my tissue to start healing to that exact same shape at the time of surgery. Once the tissue is healed, I'll be able to remove that custom healing abutment and have an Atlantis abutment that follows the exact same contours as my custom healing abutment. And then I'll be able to either manufacture through my CEREC a crown or have a laboratory do that for me. The custom healing abutment is going to follow the contours of all of the other components. So the crown is going to be designed and then from here the final abutment will have a design. That emergence of the final abutment will follow the exact same emergence and contours of the custom healing abutment. So basically once my implant is placed, at the time of surgery I can place a custom healing abutment with a predefined emergence and allow that tissue to form and heal and then I can simply remove that custom healing abutment and replace it with a final abutment that follows the same tissue contours uh, with really no change in pressure or change in contour to the tissue and then we can have a final crown placed on top of that. There are two different workflows that we can select with the Zento. One would be either to just have a custom healing abutment made the other option is to have a temporary crown ready for surgery as well. If you are choosing a temporary crown, you can either have a screw retained temporary crown or a cemented PMMA temporary crown. And that would either go on top of a gold colored titanium abutment or a titanium colored one. If choosing a screw retained option, you would simply cement your, your PMMA temporary to that abutment extra orally before surgery. So Azento is the full package. Everything you need for a successful surgery is gonna show up in your office in this box. And it makes just ordering and having inventory very, very simple because there's really nothing beyond this box that you need. Once you open it and go through it, you'll see that all of the surgical instruments, all of the drills that are required for that surgery are in there. Your implant that you pre-selected is there. You've got your surgical guide with the indexing, and then you'll have a custom healing abutment. If you also chose to have a temporary crown, then you'll have a final abutment and a temporary crown that will be included. And then additionally, a core file will be sent to you, which we'll discuss later. There's a couple things that you need to have set up in advance of doing your first case. Uh, number one, you have to have an account set up with dense ply Cerrone implants. The next thing that you'll need to do is log into Serona Connect, your Serona Connect portal. And from here, you're going to find your favorite recipients. And then you're going to need to add dense ply Serona implants as a favorite recipient. The next thing that you're going to need to do is go to your external portals. And this may be something that you've already done through Atlantis. But if you haven't, you're going to click on dense ply Serona implants. And then you'll click on the link button and that's going to bring up a, uh, a place for you to enter your credentials for uh, your Dense Ply Serona Implants account. Now, when your patient's there, the, uh, the only data that you really need to collect from them is to do a, an optical scan and a CBCT. If you're doing an optical scan with CEREC, you can either open CEREC Connect, or if you have Chairside 4.6 or later, you can scan in that. Uh, in CEREC Connect, we're going to make sure that we have dense ply Serona implants as the laboratory that's selected. And then under restoration type, we're going to choose a crown. Really, the next of the steps, such as material and, and uh, any other step that it's going to ask you, is irrelevant. 
we just want to continue on to the imaging catalogs. From here, we're gonna image the arch that we're planning on treating. We do need a full arch scan. We'll image the opposing and the buccal bite. It's critical that we have a nice clean image for our optical scan because not only is the plan gonna be created off of this, but the, the uh, surgical guide is going to be made to fit. So we wanna make sure we capture the embrasures, the uh, contours of the teeth on either side of where the implant is going. And even though we are sending a uh, full arch scan, the guide will be approximately three quarters, of a, three quarters of the arch that's made. And I found with all of the ones I've done, they fit incredibly well and they're very precise. Once we have that, that scan ready, we can submit this through Serona Connect as normal. The uh, thing that might be a little bit different is we'll click on Solution Details and under solution details, we're going to select a Zento as our workflow. And then we simply submit and commission this case. Once you have a CBCT scan, we have to package that data in a way that we can upload it to the Zento portal. If you have Cydexis 4.2 or higher, you're going to be able to click on output and then you're going to see a volume for third party manufacturer. If you have an earlier version of Cydexis, you can click on the DICOM exam export. We're just trying to package up a DICOM file. Your, uh, your workflow you'll choose will be a Simplant workflow, and it's not a huge deal if you don't select this, but, um, but if you have that option for third-party manufacture, then uh, you would choose uh, Simplant. And then you're just going to choose the directory where your DICOM file is going to be saved to. So once you've exported your file, you're going to see a DICOM RM. And you have two choices. If you want to save a couple steps, you can just click on your DICOM RM and you can zip or you can compress that file. That's all you need to do. If you do it that way, though, you're going to have quite a large file that's going to take some time to upload to a Zento. Another option would be to click on your DICOM RM until you see a CT1 file. CT1 is where the, um, the images are actually saved. It could be called CT3 if you choose something other than export to third-party viewing uh, or third-party manufacture. But once you see that CT1 file and it has all of your images in there, we would just send to a compressed or zip folder and that's just going to give you a CT1 zip folder. If you compress your DICOM RM, you would just have a DICOM RM zip folder. And that's all you need to submit everything. That's all the data that you need to submit to Azento. Thank you very much.